Hello and welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey. Today I'm going to be restoring this beautiful antique East Lake dresser, which is about 140 years old. When restored, these pieces can be very valuable, so I would highly recommend if you have one or if you find one, please try and restore it because unpainted, it can be worth quite a lot. On the top, you see there's this big ink stain, which is another great identifier for the age of this piece because inkwell pens were used in the late 1800s and in the 1900s they started using different types of pens. It's a little bit wobbly, which I'm going to fix when I put the top on. A lot of these had marble tops on them, but because this piece has like pilot holes already pre-drilled on there, I do believe that it did originally have a wood top. When you look at those that I showed you that were selling on Etsy, they also had wood tops. So a lot of them did have marble tops, but some did have wood tops, and I believe this one did have a wood top. So to replace a wood top, buying a giant piece of cherry would be way too expensive, but we did have a mahogany dining table top, which we're going to be using to recreate a top for this beautiful dresser. Let's go!
what a beauty this turned out to be. I had bought it from an auction for about $40 because many people could not see the potential since it was missing its top. Look at how amazing it has turned out. The details in this piece are unlike anything you could see today in modern craftsmanship. These nap joints are the most gorgeous scalloped detail and they are what I always look for when looking for East Lake pieces like this. Not all East Lake pieces have these joints, but the joints that are like this are my absolute favorite and it is something that I'm constantly looking for when looking for antiques. I'm confident that this piece is going to live on for another 140 years, first starting out as my children's dresser. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!